Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be recreating a Hailey Morales a drugstore makeup tutorial. If you are interested in seeing how I recreated this video, then go ahead and keep watching and I will also link Hailey's video down below. And yeah, let's get right on into the video. Okay, so the first thing that Hailey says to do is use the Honey Do Me Up primer by NYX. And sadly enough, I don't own that. Um, I'm just going to be using the Nivea um, Post Shave Balm. Um, but yeah, I have a mirror right here just in case you're wondering because I will be looking in the mirror just because I can't really see in the viewfinder that great. So yeah. Woo! I feel like a man. <laughs> that was lame, I'm sorry. So the next thing that Haley uses is her eyebrow pomade by NYX, which um, sadly, I guess I just don't own anything from NYX really. So I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. Um, she is using a pomade, so I mean it's really not that like different, I guess. I will let you guys know right now, I am not good at doing my eyebrows with pomade. I always go way too over the top with it. So... This brow is always the good brow, and this one is always the not good one. I'm gonna go very, very light handed with this. Because let's get started. First mess up right there oh my god it won't come off jeez louise so now i'm just gonna carve out like this part of my brow like the almost tail i guess you could say Okay, so this might be the best that we are going to get with this eyebrow. Okay, I'm going to do this brow off camera because I'm going to have a lot of trouble with it. I already feel it, so I will be right back. Okay, so these are the brows that we're working with today. So, let's move on to the next step. Next step that Haley does is apply the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. So, I'm just going to give that a good shake and then I'm going to apply it. This actually might match me to be completely honest because like I just self tan last night, have not showered yet. So it's like really, really dark. Okay, and she uses a beauty blender from the drugstore as well, which is exactly what this is. I have not used this foundation in such a long time. It's I love full coverage foundations. This one is actually like pretty full coverage as well, but sometimes like whenever I have like really bad pimples or anything like that, I have to like build the coverage up, which isn't a bad thing, but like... <sighs> okay, I think that that is good. Looks pretty good. I mean, I'm definitely like way darker than it. <laughs> So she also uses the Photo Focus foundation to carve her brows out. So I'm going to put some foundation on my hand right there. So I'm going to be using this brush right here. It looks like this. She kind of just like puts like a dot like right here, which that's not a dot, but whatever. So right there, right here. Then she does the same thing with the other side. I'm just gonna go ahead and start blending this out. I'm scared. I need to like go up a little bit. There we go. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and blend right here. Now it's starting to look like a triangle at the end and I don't really like that, but whatever. So we are done with carving out the brows. Okay, so for concealer, the first thing she uses is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation, and I don't have that. 
So I am just going to be using um, the second stuff that she does, which is Neutrogena Skin Perfecting Concealer. And I just put it on my hand right here. I'm just going to go ahead and apply it with this um, brush again. Just going to be putting it like that. She definitely doesn't use this much, but like my under eyes are bad. I have not slept in days. Okay, so the next step that she does is use a cream contour and concealer for like the cheeks and the nose, but I don't have cream contour, so I'm going to be using um, just like my regular contour. Whenever she uses her powder to set her face, she uses the Cody Airspun powder. I am just going to kind of go along right here because she goes on the jaw lines first. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I just got done setting my face and I have this and this still on because I'm going to go ahead and do contour. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So just going to go ahead and go on with this. Just going to like work it in like right above where I put my bake up. go in on my nose and try to contour so contouring my nose didn't work uh, just not gonna include the footage okay so the next thing that I'm going to be doing is um, my eyeshadow because so she actually has another NYX product and I don't have that product but I do have the morphe 350 and it does have a lot of the same like so yeah let's hop right into it Okay, so the first color that she went into was kind of like a nude taupe color. So I am just going, and she also used like a big fluffy brush like this one. So I'm just going to go right into this color right here. So she just kind of like put that all over. Okay, why are there so many hairs on my brush? Well, Okay, that was stupid. <laughs> meant to say, why are there so many, like, loose hairs on my brush? So the next thing that Haley does is she gets a, like, more dense brush, but I really don't have a more dense brush than this one. She went into a taupe shade. I'm going to be using this shade right here, which is exactly what it looks like. Okay, so she uses a taupe color and she puts it into her crease, so that's what I'm going to do. So this is what we're looking like so far. So the next thing that she does is she takes a kind of fluffy brush and she goes into like a um, taupey brown shade. I'm going to use this shade right here. And she like takes it, blends it in, and then kind of like blends it out a little bit. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so I just got done blending the brown and she said that she goes in with like a copper shade. So I'm going to go in with um, this shade right here. She uses the same brush. So she goes in and she kind of puts it like on the lower half of the crease. So the next thing that she does is she uses a burgundy shade. This is probably going to be the closest burgundy shade um, that I get to what she is using. So I'm going to use this and she uses like a little bit of a more dense blending brush and she kind of just puts it in like the outer corner and the outer V and then she like try like starts to blend it more into the inner corner. Well, let's do it. She pretty much just like packs it on and then just like starts to blend it. Okay, so the last step that she does is take a light kind of shimmer shade and just kind of puts it like right in the inner corner. So I'm going to go in with my um, Natural Eyes Too Faced palette and I'm going to use this right here, this shade. Okay, so the next thing that she does is she takes a light shade and she puts it in the inner corner like right here and on the brow bone so i'm going to take this for my Too Faced palette oh my god it's so bright this shade right here right into the inner corner just like that and over here 
and then roll it on the brow bone. So the next thing she does is she mixes two shades, which is like the first two shades that we used, and she just puts it right underneath of her eyes. This is the eye look, well eyeshadow at least, still have to do mascara and lashes. I'm just gonna um, kind of like darken my face up with my contour again. Just kind of like go a little bit in over where we already had it. So I don't have any form of eyeliner at all, so I will not be applying any eyeliner, but I will be applying false lashes. So I am going to do that off camera and I will be right back. I just got done putting my lashes on and I'm going to apply mascara. It is the Telescopic L'Oreal Mascara. The last thing that Haley does is she uses the e.l.f. highlighter, which I do have. She uses a bigger highlighting brush than this one, but this is like one of the two that I have. So she just goes in just like that, and then she goes right on the cheekbones. This is a really, really pretty highlight. Oh. Haley uses like a butter gloss from NYX, but I don't have that. So I'm just going to use like a similar color, and it's just my MAC um, Fox lipstick. Alright, so that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you would, comment down below and tell me how you think that I did with this look. If you have not watched Haley's video that I redid, I will link it in the description below. And yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.